Hello everybody and welcome back to the Unholy Trilogy, I decided to name it. So this is There Is No God 3. And I'm running out of things to say, but to make it a trilogy I have to have three at least. Well, a trilogy is three, true. Drive is three. Mm. I'm terrible at shapes, do do do, there we go. Um, yeah, so there's, to me, now again, I'm not judging anyone who believes in this. To me, I have friends that are, in, in go to church and believe in all that. I don't, like I say, be a good person. Just. And for those of you that are sick and that I know you guys think there that there is that God is helping you through it. It's a medical system. I'm sorry to say but there it's the medical system that helps you through any of the illnesses. And does it, doesn't it feel better to say, I defeated, I don't know, cancer, or I, I won against cancer, or anything, or I, I overcome the odds of, of, I have friends who, like I say, could have died from whatever they had as a kid, um, but they persevered, and yes, they're not the same, but they're still living every day to the fullest. That's the best you can ask for. Give to charity. Just be honestly, honest to, to whatever, basically. I, I say, I, I, I say, I would say God, but the, like, I'm, this is saying that there is no God. Honestly. Be good, be a good person, give to charity, be nice to people, be kind to people, give the homeless guy on the corner some money on the way past. Don't make people work for free for you. Give them at least a little something, because they have to go home and feed their families, or they have to go, because Christmas is coming up, and those of you who follow Christmas, I just do it for the gifts now. But the point is that there's people wanting to go give their children gifts at around Christmas time, or on their birthday. Which, thank goodness, I got gifts and, and, um... And all that from my birthday and my Christmases. But I know people that, uh, and me myself, I never heard and I love you from my parents. Or if he, they did, it wasn't very sincere. Or an apology for anything that they did. But we knew that they loved us. But they had a strange way of showing it. Which now I grew up to learn that's just love. I can't judge them for it. I can't. That's just how they are. And like I said, go check out our second channel because we do donation or we do charity live streams starting every month if we start getting actual viewership and if we can actually hit the goals that we set. We set very low. I did a charity live stream a couple weeks ago. The, 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 the donation link is closed now. But the point is that we, you could have all been there Because those people at Make-A-Wish, 
really need it. Those, those kids need your donations. We didn't make a wish. Um, my charity live stream a couple weeks ago. And no one, there's only, there's always one, the one person that shows up. To even on Twitch when I tried to do it, there's always one person that shows up. That's it. And I don't know if it's just me or. But it, and, uh, that means that someone, if it's not me, that means someone has their notifications on. Because I believe we can do so much good in this world. It's a big, it's a big ass world. And there's nothing at the end, but the, the, the legacy you leave, the, the, the history books that are written of you, quote unquote, like it's, and they won't actually write books about you, but the point is that the, the opportunity is there for those people who want to write books about us as a community on both channels on the Twitch if I can get Twitch working on the the, the Instagram no, uh, Snapchat Twitter the Discord server that I have up it's all there for the taking. I'm literally giving you the fruit. Eat it. Feel good about yourself. That's all anyone can ask for in life. Is feel good about yourself. Never mind about the stuff around me. But the only thing that, that matters the biggest is this thing right here, this computer, my setup, my my electronics, because I can do so much good, and you guys can do so much good the same way or a different way that you be creative, find your inner passion. If you find that you found the key to happiness. You found the key to success. Success is not written in some book that you go to church every weekday and once a week to go and actually say, and some of it's not even real. Some of it's just a story. Most of it actually is just a story. The key to happiness is not going to church. You, like, and I'm not judging if you do. Go to church, great. Read the Bible, pray every night, your choice. But the key to happiness is doing good for other people. Like I say, go give that, that homeless vet, vet um, not veterinarian, but war vet a, at the corner some money. Because people don't do very good things in government for these poor people. I, I go down every, there's the, the Ladybug Foundation, Amanda Taylor, or what, I, I, what, something Taylor, started that charity. The point is, it's for helping the homeless. She started a charity, and she's living her life to the fullest. If I, now, I don't know if she believes in any any religious figure but the point is she will get where she's going in life and when she gets to the end she gets her reward of whatever it may be
Just be nice to people. I have friends in the foster system. I have friends that are 8 and 10 in the foster system. Now they can't watch my videos because my videos are all about dick jokes and your mama jokes and and, and that's what she said, jokes and just inappropriate stuff and swearing and all this. But the point is, I even around kids, I am more mature and more... And I don't swear, and if it slips out, I apologize all the time. It's like, and then, and then I tell them, do not say that word, or do not say what I say. But like I say, there's a time and a place for everything. That's why I'm doing some, some, um, child rated series is on my channel because I want to pertain to all audiences not just the vulgar adults and kids that are are watching either without their parents permission or their parents don't care I want to pertain to everybody that's why we have we have younger people as me that are going to be members of Big Ego HQ. That's why we have all this set up. Because we want to give everybody the chance. To give to charity, to give, ha be happy. You can't be happy without being nice and respectful and actually doing things like giving to charity. I gave my hair, like I said in the last three video or last two videos, this is the third one. I gave up my hair every two years or so. My hair is down to here. I give it up so that other people can have wigs that are not doing so well in hospital just so that they feel good about themselves and they don't have to feel like everyone's staring and laughing. Now I'm not saying that it's a bad thing that they love yourself as, as you would love others, but please just support these people who are needing the help and the money that we raise on the second channel would be just enormously helpful to everyone. Like, I go to a group that all they, they, they rely on is donations. And to see all, and hear all the touching stories there. Like, and to hear all my friends going through problems of their own. My friends that are in foster, the friends that have, have grown out of foster, the friends that are still in school or still having a t difficult time in life. Reach out. Touch their heart. I, wa I used to watch Hello Goodbye with my mother once in a while. The touching stories on that show. We're just moving. Everything you do can be moving to other people. You just have to reach out and grab the fruit of life. And if we're going to talk about there is no God, 
look at what what Adam and Eve did if we're going that route. They wanted to know the, the, the difference between good and bad. So they reached out and grabbed the fruit. Now we can be good and grab the, the, the fruit that they, they didn't. Honestly, it would mean so much to me and yourself if you go down in the description of and and do, go uh, go follow the chair or go donate to the charities that I sometimes randomly throw in there, or the charity live streams that we do on my second channel, which is in the links down below. But you have to f go on every single. I made it so that you have to click on every single link. So you know people are out there that are in our group. I only took the the actual address bar. I didn't take their custom links because I want you to go and click on their channels and actually subscribe to them and turn on bell notifications and actually watch their videos and share their content because there's people that are not doing so well and I joke around about let's say Austin doing YouTube again all he does is sit around and play video games besides volunteering which is making him happy is volunteering but also to come home and play video games with your friends or with other YouTubers. It's just immaculate. If I'm using that word right, I'm pretty sure it pertains to this situation. But the point is, like, talk to, I mean, you, there's people you can talk to. You can talk to, um, uh, psych, like, psychiatrists. Some of them are really good. I had bad experiences with them, but I know that there's good ones out there. Go talk to your guidance counselors in school, your principals, your teachers, and see how they're doing. See if they're having a good day. I know I rip on them uh, all the time, but I know that sometimes in some situations they're just having a bad week or a bad day or a bad year. Go talk to them. Go talk to, to them about your problems too because it's not just all about them and they know that. They just want to be recognized. That's why you go and go to your parents and say, how are you doing? And they have to, you have to be completely honest about your feelings with them just like they have to be completely honest with their feelings to you. Because we can all be a shoulder to cry on for everybody. We can all be great people on this platform. That's why I, like, I pay attention to no, none of the stupid kind of people on the platform. That just treat everything, everybody like shit and just, and I'm getting a little loud. Oops. But the, the problem is that people do things that are not right. There's content cops, there's all these things that people do, copyright strikes, is not nice. People are just wanting to show what's out there. You're getting free enter uh, advertising, and then you go right away and, and copyright claim. Or I've heard stories where people got in trouble for charity live streaming from the charities themselves. We're giving money to you. We're giving free money to you. I 
and then there's people that actually want things done, like you know, on Tiltify. They want donations. They actually want people to do charity live streams because that's what Tiltify is, and that's why most of our most of our charities are coming off of Tiltify. I would love to work with big charities for the for Christmas, let's say the Christmas live stream, I mean Christmas charity live stream, or like people have it, some people have it so lucky. Like, I'm not in a bad place, but I'm also not in a good place, but that's beside the point. I can still be a good person and give to charity and give my editor, for example, the money he deserves for running the two channels or running anything that I ask him to do or being the, the YouTube manager in general where I wouldn't have to touch anything he would just but whoever's my YouTube manager would actually just have to sit there upload the videos change the description do all the YouTube stuff but it if I could just sit here and record or live stream all the time, I would. I would actually love to be able to sit here and live stream, do it for charity or do, do content for you. Because if I make one person happy, if anyone can make one person happy, that's the best feeling ever. That's our model as a YouTuber. Besides embarrassing ourselves to no end, where if we were back in school, we would be bullied and made fun of for. But YouTube should be a safe platform, and for the most part it is. But people go and negatively comment in and say nasty things about people just because they're trying to be hilarious or comedic it's not like we do this in everyday life it's not like we embarrass ourselves to no end in everyday life we do it for comedic reasons not to be bullied or harassed we do it so that the the person that's sitting at home lonely has no friends, has nothing in life, is either getting abused or being beaten or whatever, the same thing, but so that they can have a smile is all that us on the YouTubes and Twitches and social medias in general can hope for is they can just at least smile we can't control their situation we can't do anything as long as they get to watch content that makes them smile and makes them laugh now I know that's not that easy in some cases but the point is at least they can feel like someone's there for them I support everybody that's going through pain and suffering, either physical or mental, or spiritual, if you are spiritual. I, I give my heart out to you in many, many pieces for you guys who are going through troubles. Because I've been through my, my share of troubles. I could t be here for days on end, rec just recording a, a like a, a, a 48 hour video or something, or just like, time's up, I, I, so 88 hour video, I could be for, he here recording for a week telling you a story, but you're not going to sit through a week long video. I did a 2,000 subscriber milestone video, now I know, I know that it, I've gone down from 2,000 subscribers, that's beside the point. 
but I told the most highlighted part of my life, lives, life, highlights in my life. There's other stories that I left out just because they're personal or they're, they're, they're stories I wasn't ready to share yet. I could share almost anything now. I don't care. I lost the ability to care about my embarrassment because I'm not going to get embarrassed over something that, that's so petty. To me, embarrassment is so petty of people to, to feel. Because it's you, it's the person you are. You shouldn't feel bad for something you are. Like I sit here and, and, and be inappropriate and people have called me gay and called me a faggot and all this and a fag and I'm like, first of all, I, I'm not a smoke, because that's what they call smoke and smokes in Britain or Ireland. And second of all, I'm not I'm not what people say I am. If they're spreading negative hate about me, I'm not what people say that I am. If people are saying good things about me, that he gives to charity, that he's just an honest, nice, respectful guy who I would hang out with in a heartbeat. That's me. And I'm looking at myself because it's easier to talk to myself than a camera. The point is that it's, it's the point that you actually care I care about everyone that I go meet. I care about everyone that I can I can physically care about, which is a lot. Which is the biggest thing you can do is care and be kind. So go down to your to your local shelter at Thanksgiving or Easter or or um, Christmas or any time during the year basically and go help out I know that I know uh, I know that some of them I like the, uh, I don't think this but I know uh, I did when I was a kid some of them don't it to me when I was a kid they were gross to me now I can understand what pain their pain is they can't afford to go do laundry. They can't afford to do all this. Now there's some people that there's some homeless people that just go out and drink and, and get drinks with the money and go in and smoke and get smokes and drugs and stuff. But you have to pick and choose. And if you get screwed, oh well. It's not the end of the world. Money is a social construct. Like I would never want money for the sake of having money. I want money to be able to do good for people. I want a disposable income where I can go to that person down the street and say, here, here's a thousand dollars to get your life turned around, or here's a certain amount of money just so that you can turn your life around. I want to be able to, to go, go down to my shelter I don't have a show. I have a food bank, but it's not a real. It's not like a, a really big thing. It's just a small thing. But I want to go to. I would love to be able to go down to a shelter. I would love to be able to to talk to you guys on the street, all my fans, and and be able to say, "How are you? Are you having a good day? Do you like the content? Do you?" Do you, what do you want in the content? I can add anything. 
My editor can add anything if he if if he wants. And if I give him the go ahead. It's all about giving. It's all about charity. It's all about feeling good about yourself, kindness, caring. All these positive things should be labeled to you, not to, let's say, car. And, and, and I'm using like myth, mythical, uh, uh, mythical characters just to, so that I'm, uh, I can drive my point across. And if you're too young to understand Family Guy or to watch Family Guy, you won't get this. But don't be like Carter Peterschmidt. He backstabs, and I know it's for the story, I'm just using him as an example. He backstabs, he, he does animal testing, he, he physically treats everybody like shit because he's a higher, uh, higher class. And that's why I, I'm like Brian Griffin or Stewie, where I can talk about this without getting too angry. Or for in Brian's case, where I can insult them for being a basic asshole to people just because they're rich. I will never, never let fame go to my head like that, where I start being rude and disrespectful and I will always give to charity, I'll always be kind, I'll always be respectful, I'll always treat people like they belong, like, like I treat myself, because I treat myself with love and I respect myself enough to actually treat others with respect and love and respect and kind, I said respect twice, kindness and care about them. I don't need some book to tell me how to act. I don't need a book to tell me not to swear because I'll swear anyway, everybody will swear anyway. Unless you're my mother or my one of my, or one of my sisters or my grandparents they never swore I mean they swear to, to me just to get across to me sometimes which I appreciate that they can get across to me w without just blowing up at me you shouldn't it, you shouldn't, if you blow up at someone, you should at least go back and, and apologize and talk things through. I'm bad at it too, I know. I'm bad at blowing up, I, I, I had pro I still have problems, I don't, and I did since I was a kid. I, I mean, when I was a kid, I would be punching and kicking holes in the, the walls at home. I'd be slamming my door, I would be, taking my anger out on other things which cost this money where a human you can always go back and apologize because they they should always be able to bounce back they should always be able to forgive you forgiveness is key for those of you who read the bible that's in the bible but I don't care about no Bible. I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to forgive people. I'm going to apologize to people if I make a mistake. And if people make a mistake to me, I'm going to forgive them. I'm going to be kind and respectful. But there's a time and a place to be kind and respectful. I mean, I do dick jokes. I don't mind if people do dick emojis, um, eggplant emojis, or anything like that in my comments. I'm not going to be racist either. I'm not going to be sexist. Or I'm not even going to judge people on the, on the way their sexual orientation. I'm not going to judge them at all. The key to life is not 
judging and key to, to life is not being an asshole. The key to life is giving to charity, give, being a nice, kind person who cares about others. I do gaming here on the, on this this channel. So if you want to come by and say hi, subscribe, turn on notifications, share the videos, actually watch the videos, join the channel, like comment down below nice things. I know there's always going to be haters. And just ignore the haters. Sometimes I'll do like reading your comments eventually. But I don't condone hate comments. And it's just there for entertainment. And it's more me being being silly and a comedian and and anything. If there's serious, honest questions, I will answer them seriously and honestly. If they're just bullshit, like your like I had a comment, you're gay. I'm not gay. I know I'm not gay. And who cares if I was gay? It's 2019. Grow the fuck up. And I'm only proving a point now by swearing. I'm not actually... In, because swearing is super unprofessional, but sometimes to get your point across you, it, that it's a, a big, big thing, you have to swear. And in those cases, yes, swear. The point is... And I keep saying the point is because I want to just get as much out of, as, as possible off the top of my head and then I go, stop the video and then I, I think of something else to say. The point is, yes, my dog is, is going to be passing away. He's already passed away by the time you see these videos. But the point is that he was a friend, he was nice to people. Yes, there was other dogs that came on our property and he bullied them. But that's what dogs do, is protect their owners, protect the house, protect themselves. It's right now 4.17 in the morning, so that I'm recording these right after each other. The point is, in life, you can always choose what happens at the end. It might be, it might be heaven or hell, it might be just reincarnation, it might be just pitch blackness, darkness. Like it is outside, you can see through the crack in the window and the grapes there. It's dark outside, and that's might that might what be what happened. But to leave a legacy, to leave something that might end up going down in the history books, the history books on YouTube. The, I will never. If I pass, this channel will never go down. I, there will just be no posts on it ever again. Or my other channels, or anything else I do. There are just... It'll just be... In... There for people to re-watch and re-watch and re-watch. Because there's nothing... Else that matters... In the, than just what I do here. I, and parents might judge you for it. Your parents might judge you for video gaming all the time. 
But the point is that you can do so much good out in the everyday life and on this thing, this computer. You can do so much good, which I try to do every fucking single day. Again, I'm swearing, I swear, I'm not, not going to hide that. I'm not going to hide my true character from the world, because this is who I am. I'm a good time person. I respect people. Regardless if I grew up in the southern part of Canada. I still forgive people if they do wrong. But I still stick by the, the, the fact that it's 2019. And that's the only thing I'll judge. If it's 2019 or 2020 coming up. Or 21 or etc etc. You do not judge people for their sexuality, race, color, color and race are the same thing. And you, and you don't judge people for the sake of just being an asshole. You judge them by character. And if they, you judge them if they're being judgeful of you. I have, I have lots of friends that, that, that are, um, black, um, gay, I had, I had a, a bisexual girlfriend before, I've had a, I've, I have friends that are lesbians, I don't judge them, they, it's like you do you, but, and I'll still be your friend either way because I care about people. I don't care what they what they believe in. I don't care if they 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 are um, a different race, a different orientation, a different sex. I still love them and care about them to be their friend. I don't care if you're handicapped. I don't care if you're, you're, um, you're lower functioning. I don't care if, if you're, I don't know, like there's so many things. I just want to be nice and kind to everybody. I just want everybody to know that I'm there for them because I feel for them. I was, I have autism, I have depression, I have anxiety. I'm unmedicated on my depression because this is my depression meds. Doing this is the best thing for me. Doing this is my anxiety medication because I can go on here and I know I don't care I don't uh, that I'm judged if I am judged but I don't care because I have such a good idea for this channel I have the right direction in mind for this channel and anything I do on the internet I have the right I know I have the right direction for it I have friends that are Métis I, I've learned about the struggles in school that they had it as a, as a community. I've, I've gone down Winnipeg streets and walking or even driving because sometimes it wasn't too safe to, to walk. Where there was homeless people, Métis homeless people or Vietnam vets or just veteran veterans in general that were, were begging there on the streets and I, I wish I could give them money I wish I can give some of them the world that actually want to change that can actually go to rehab, go to go change their life around there's actually 
places that will help you change your life around if you are homeless, if you're watching this on a library computer, if they didn't block me there too. You can get where you're going in life. In in Manit or in Win or in Canada, it's uh, and anywhere, basically anywhere, you can be out of the house at 16. That's how young you can get out of the house. Have your own bank account. Have your own fa family. Is it more 18 or up now? Because times have changed. Where, well, times have changed twice. Where you, it was okay to marry young and and have kids. Now it's and then it was you're older and now you're younger and you, you do it younger again but the point is that life can be the best thing in life having an opportunity like we do to donate to charity I have the link to to um the the children's hospital near me the the, the quote here is says if i could do anything i w would take my little brother home let's make everything possible that's a good that's a that's a good quote, and I feel so bad for the, the baby in the picture. I feel so bad for everyone going through struggle, struggles, because I have the biggest heart in the world. I was told that I have a big heart. I'm like the Grinch at the end of the Grinch, that, that, that it was too hard, uh, too, that his heart got too big for the actual x-ray machine that they, they they colored in to the to the animation. Now again, it's almost four thirty in the morning, so I'm tired. I I was up since one something. I had a bad dream about my dog, and then I saw this text. But the. The dog is great while you're here, while you're here on this planet. Actually walking around, physically touching, able to touch things, able to, able to actually speak and, and feel human emotions. Feel those human emotions. Go up to someone, put your hand on their shoulder and say, I care. It's the biggest thing that you could do. It's the biggest manly or womanly thing, whatever or whatever gender you are, to do is go up to someone and say, I care about you. It's not the end of the world yet. You and you can always change if you're seeing this and you want to change. Change with us. Subscribe. Turn on notifications to both the channels because we do charity live streams every month on the second channel. It's called Big Eagle HQ. It's down in the description, but you have to click on every single link and follow me on every single social media app just to find anything you want because that's the way I set it up. If you want something, reach out and grab it. Like I said in the the, in the second video, I made it. I made a actual um, vision board. I have a vision to give to charity. What was the other ones? Well, that, that that's another one to put on there too. Have a girlfriend. Get married. Have lots of kids. Make YouTube a franchise. Make my my self heard by everyone I possibly can. There's seven billion people in the world. 
a lot of them are not doing so well in life. Reach out to them. Get Be rich so that I can have a disposable income where I can actually give to charity. I can actually give to the homeless guy down the street. Because I care. Own houses. Own houses all over the, the place so that I can actually be able to go and in, in, to more conventions. Go and see people more. Have other YouTubers live in those houses. As part of Big Ego HQ, I can make this like McDonald's or Timmy's. Tim Hortons. People that know there's, if it's native to Canada. To actually be a good person. I don't need someone telling me how to be a good person. I can be a good person on my own. It feels better to me to be to be a good person on my own, not have someone tell me how to be a good person, not have some, I don't even have a Bible here. I, I got rid of all my Bibles. Not to have like a book telling me how to run my life. I have a vision board. I love that I can have ideas of what to do. And the, this book is also creative ideas I have for the channel and for YouTube or the internet in general. It's not just me though. Everybody can change. Everybody can be like me. I've been called Satan. I've been called the, the, the spawn of Satan. I've been called all these names. I own up to it just as a joke because it's not worth fighting over. It's not worth saying, no, I'm not. Just because I swear and be inappropriate and do bad jokes and everything, it doesn't change who I am. I am a kind, caring, respectful person, and everybody should be. Like I say, there is... There is this platform, these platforms, you can go donate, I can find any foundation on, on the internet, I have the power to find anyone I want to, want you guys to go and support. This happens to be the Children's Hospital Foundation of Manitoba. And that is the website down in the link in this in the video. I should actually add it to this video because I've been talking a lot about it. I have a tilt of fight that that I can go and set up a, a charity live stream with. I have a I have the platforms, I have the the power to spread good and so does everybody else. All you need is it is OBS which is totally free I don't spend a penny on OBS it's easy enough to set up if not ask someone who does know all you need is a cheap computer uh, my computer before was only a $500 computer now I have a thousand dollar computer and I can live stream I can physically charity live stream or just regular live stream on my second account. All my settings will be messed up on OBS. But I can physically do all the things that I wanted to do now. And it just gets better. I feel great. I don't, I've cut, got, got to be, I've been able to cut down all my medication. I don't have to drink obsessively anymore. I drink for comedic value now. I don't... I don't have to do any of that. Because this is my drug, basically. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to. is making people laugh and smile. And actually... Having the ability to give 
to people who are less fortunate, who can't afford the basic treatments for this poor little baby that's in, that was that's on their homepage here. The point is that we have to care and be respectful. And I'm trying to, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm, I, I want to say everything I can. So I, I, I repeat myself so that I can think of new things to say. And so that I can actually convince you that this is a, the best thing for everybody. Caring is the biggest thing you can do. The being kind and respectful, giving to charity. This is all things that will get you where you're going to your award in life. Like I say, my my friend, my 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 pastor is gone. My my dog is dead. My gra grandparents are all falling off, uh, out of fell, falling off the face of the earth. My parents will eventually go. Even I will go. Even everybody around me will go. It's just how you spend your life. If you spend your life being like that Carter, like Carter Peter Schmidt in Family Guy, it's not worth even being around if you're not kind and respectful and being nice. But you can always change. There's, n it's never too late to change. Like. Kind of wear your heart on your sleeve. Show that you care. Go up to the, the, the next guy, the, the next homeless person on the street and go, I care about you. Or go to the, 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 the hospital. Go to anyone and say, I care about what you and what you're, I care the, the, about what you're going through. I want to change your situation for the better I and that's what I love to be able to do I would love it if I can go to the children's hospital in fact that's something I should ask the people that I the place that I go at almost every single day if we can actually if we can set up a thing where we go to the charity hospital or to the children's hospital and actually be there with the patient saying we care we know how hard it is we can put ourselves in your shoes that's the biggest thing that's the biggest thing i learned in life put yourself in other people's shoes maybe they're having a bad day maybe they're sick in the hospital with cancer and everything but that doesn't mean that, that, that we have to put, it, put our success on someone else. We don't have to say from the Lord God help us through this or whatever the case may be. We don't have to say that someone helped us through. We can say we persevered through it. We went to the, went to the doctor got that chemo which I know takes a lot of out of people if, for people that have cancer for people that, that have MS or anything they went to the proper things and they did the work to get through it their body their their big heart the Kindness and, uh, is the best medicine, just like laughter is. Kindness, caring, it all matters in life. Everything I talked about today that is, that is positive matters in life. Your memory, after you guys, uh, anyone that goes, your memory is what counts. The people that remember you is what counts. The memory that you leave behind, the impressions that you leave behind, everything that you leave behind is what counts. 
stuff is just an object. I threw out a bunch of stuff from from my my, my grandparents already. Because it's old and dirty and gross. Because it's been sitting around and being old for a long time. I don't need anything but my setup. My cameras, my GoPros, my hat that people associate me with now, my consoles, my everything here, my, my gaming chairs. That's all I need. I need and uh, and friends and family and people that actually care like you guys who actually want to do this too, who want to change for the better. I should actually leave this video here, but I feel like still venting, still talking. I should do this in a charity live stream or just a not a charity live stream, but just a live stream in general where I actually talk about this but I need viewership I need people to actually care too and actually want to change the world for the better the world is not a perfect place I get that it's not fair it's not anything but the point is that we can change what little we can in life to make life better for other people that all all that counts. And there's nothing that, that, that can change that. What counts is being kind and respectful at, at, at the right time and place and actually giving to charity. Not, no religion matters. I'm sorry to say But I've been through life already, at, at age 22 almost, in, in a month and a half. I'll be 22. But I've learned in my 22 years, everything I shared in these last three videos. And these are the last three videos of this, this trilogy. I'm not going to do any more about this, but I might talk about something similar. So go check us out on, in the links down below, on the second channel where we're going to do charity live streams and vlogging. Just so that people have entertainment. Like, it's either I get a psychiatrist or psychologist or whatever or I talk to you guys because you guys can get it too you guys can change the world I don't care if you spam emojis and stuff in my chat I don't care if you do dick jokes I don't care if you do your mama jokes I don't care if you do any inappropriate jokes I don't care if you're inappropriate in general I just care if you're nice, kind, not racist, not sexist, not orientist, whatever, orientationist, whatever the word is. Like, I want you to treat everybody with kindness and respect. And give to charity. Go to your local hospital. Go to your local, local soup kitchen. Go to your local... Or just... And, and volunteer or in that lonely man in the corner don't laugh at them don't make fun of them don't be a bully don't be a bully to kids in school because those kids will make are the ones that will change the world I was bullied let me tell you I was bullied so hard that that I have blood coming out of all my orifices. 
I was bullied by my own siblings. I and and I persevered. I was the one. Who, I'm the one now changing the world, for the better. They can follow any religion they want. They were They're 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 probably never going to change. People, in general, can follow any religion they want. They're probably never going to change the 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 way they 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 are, their character. You can say, oh yeah, I go to church, I go to mosque, I go to synagogue, I go to the, all these, go, go to all these places, but the point is, no, the point is your character. Again, like I say, I don't care if you do raunchy, inappropriate jokes, I don't care if you're swearing, I don't care if you're, you're any of this, because the point is you you are in control. You change your life for the better. You can you can be the positive change in the world. Don't push that on someone else. Don't push that on a higher power. Push that on yourself. I always, like I say, if I can make one person smile, one person laugh, I've done my job successfully. If I can change, like, this cute little baby's life that's probably with, the, with her sister right now, or with his sister right now, and all that this sister wants to do is be able to take her brother home, her little brother home, and make it, and you can make it possible. You can make anyone's life easier. You can make anything better just by going and actually caring, spending time with people. It's the best and only thing that you can do in life is actually like I spend time with you guys either live streams or going to conventions eventually just and meeting you out in the streets when I'm walk out running or walking or whatever or just in like basically hanging out with you guys is the best therapy for me for my depression, for my anxiety. I've cut down drastically on my meds. If you didn't know, I took Ritalin and Risperidol. I take half the dose now, and I don't even take my depression meds at all. That's because I can, I can focus my energy here, my positive energy to you guys, to the games I play on either monitor or to the content I produce. I'm gonna be producing fan mail I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna, I want to be able to get a, a P.O. box where you can actually send me fan mail. It'll be on the second channel and I'll put the, the fan mail address down in the description here too. But I'll be doing fan mail Fridays on, on the second channel. I'll basically open your gifts. I'll, eventually I want to be able to have a shelving unit in my background when I get a bigger place and when I can actually have a place that I can call my own. Right now it's all about renting, which I want to change because I want to be able to hang pictures. I want to be able to to eventually get a VR so they can actually play VR games again. I miss playing VR games. But I couldn't set it up in this apartment. And even if I can, if I would, it, it, Austin's building me a computer in, in exchange for that. It's 
just life that you can always change for the better. You can't change anything else. You can you can change your situation that you're in, which I'm I'm honestly trying here. Like I have a donation link on Twitch. You can go donate to me on Twitch. It would really, really mean a lot, uh, a lot to me. You can just start sharing the videos and getting me to the point where I can actually change the world with you guys. We can all change the world. It would be so, so nice to be able to do things like that. It would be so nice to help the, this kid in, in the hospital here. If it'll pop up. But that's unfortunately how life is, that we have to band together just to help these kids, which is a, a good thing actually, because the, there's power in numbers, there's always been power in numbers, go check out the second channel, go subscribe, to turn on the notifications stick around and actually watch the content on the channels that I make because a lot of it I, I do a lot of it as just charity work thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye